the American dream, man. It is. Yeah. It is. But, you know what? We're giving it our best shot, and we're going to hang with it, because... Why, George? Because we make a lot of money at this. We do. Yeah. We just don't want anybody to know it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we work seven days a week. That's right. Eat bologna. <laughs> And sometimes we can even get the bread to go with it. I know, occasionally, yep. if we happen to get to the store for the day old stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, if people actually just sat and thought about life for a while, their day, somebody told me this. They said, you know, the Lord gave you one, one more day. If you knew it was your last day, what would you do that day? You know, and I thought about that, and I, I don't know 100% what I would do. But I'm sure that I would be with my family, this, that, and the other, you know. But every morning when I wake up, ever since I heard that, I thank the Lord for giving me another day. And then when I get out and I get going, I'm like, okay, I could, what should I do today? I don't have to work today. Maybe I could just hang around and watch television all day or go fishing or hunting or do something. Or I could just sit here on my ass and do nothing. Well, apparently the mentality of the workforce here is sit on your ass and do nothing. I don't think of it that way. Even if it's a day off, I'm like, get your ass out of bed, get moving, go do something. What have you been wanting to do? You've been wanting to go bass fishing? Go bass fishing. You've been wanting to hunt? Go hunt. Go do something. Go spend time with your mom and dad. Go do something. Ugh. The mentality today. I don't know where it's going to end, Rob. I don't. I'm, I'm nervous as hell about this because we keep building the business. We keep adding trucks all the time, every year, and you have trouble filling them. And as soon as you get them filled, they're gone in a week or a month or two months or whatever. I don't know. Hmm. And that's true. There again, you know, they all want a job. They all got to work because they all have little kids at home. And you get them, you put them to work, and then they don't want to work in the rain. So then that leaves them to have to work on Saturday. And then our customers see them out there working on a Saturday and a lot of times on Sunday because they don't get their work done. Yep, because they show up at 9 o'clock in the morning and the they morning. quit at 3 in the afternoon. And, and which is an impact on our company because of the simple fact that now our customers are seeing them work out Sundays and they think we're a bunch of slave drivers. Yeah. When they could have been done Friday afternoon by 4.35 o'clock. Absolutely. That's like all you YouTubers, when I tell you, like if you're building your business, getting it bigger, like with us, we'll hand hand our, our crews, okay, let's say there's two guys in a truck, that's a crew, and they'll turn around and mow 100 jobs in that week. Your job is to mow 100 jobs, get them done by end of day Friday if you can, and that's it. Do a good job so nobody complains. That's all I'm asking you to do, and I'm not asking you to do anything that I wouldn't do. So you can bend over backwards trying to, to get people to understand that, and uh, they just don't get it. I don't. I don't understand it, especially with the kids, Ron. You made me think of that. Yeah. So the kids. All, if you have kids at home, you have a responsibility. I got. Oh, that gives me another thought, completely off the subject. But this really pissed me off the other day. I watched somebody else's video, and the guy was on there talking about how he had filed bankruptcy, and he had paid pennies on the dollars, and he was bragging about this shit. That's like, I would be so, and I know bankruptcy happens, but I would be so embarrassed. I wouldn't even be talking about it to anybody about what went on. And I sure as hell wouldn't be bragging about fucking guys out of if they owed them $10,000 and you, you settled for pennies and you had to pay them $100 and all was squared away. You're going to brag about that? Holy shit, man. Wow. That, uh, I just, I don't know. And then they're on to another business, making money again. What chances are they're probably going to do the same thing again? Oh, sure. Sure. Because I didn't learn enough the last time. Exactly. But, I don't know. I mean, bankruptcy can happen to anybody. I know that. And it's hardship comes. There's one guy I'm talking with on YouTube right now that, you know, his parents went through a hardship. They had a, a dairy farm. Not dairy farm, but they were farming, making like soybeans and different things like that. They were cash cropping. And they had like 2,000 acres. And, you know, all of a sudden something happened they got sick parents got sick they lost the farm they lost everything and now the guy's way up in his 50s he's working for for uh another farmer down the road just to eat you know and at his age just imagine that at his age he's going to be working till he's dead now there's there's no way about it. there's no retiring there's no nothing you know 
I have the mentality, I'm going to bust my ass. If I got to work seven days a week, I got to work seven days a week. But at the same time, I'm going to retire. I'm going to retire before, hope God willing, anything happens. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm working for that nest egg, you know. And when guys talk about having their own business and wow. working that way, that, uh, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to bust your ass now while you can work. I've noticed now my back is going out, my knees are going out, my neck is bad, shoulders been operated on. I mean, I, you know, there's going to come a day where they can't put me back together anymore and I'm going to have to stop working like I am. And when that day comes, it sucks because then so does your income if you're not thinking ahead, if you're not building a business that constantly has a cash flow, you know. So that's a whole other topic for another video, I'm sure. But the point is, why not get out there and work your ass off while you can? Because if you wait till you're crippled up and then you, you think when you're 40 or 50, you're going to get out there and bust ass and be any good? No, hell no. You wait. You wait and see what happens. You think sitting on your ass that it's okay? The best years of your life are going by you while you're sitting on your ass on that couch doing nothing. And all those kids, don't think those kids don't see that. Don't think they don't understand that. Well, why is daddy home all the time? Well, you'd love to say because he's a lazy fuck. But, you know, the woman probably doesn't say that because she loves her man or whatever because he is such a hard-working deadbeat bastard. <laughs> oh, it just makes me laugh, man. Just, ugh. Anyway, I'm going to give myself a heart attack, Ron. I'm never going to live to retire. I, need I to know. Down. I know, and we're getting closer and closer every day, George. I mean, at 32, we, we only have about another 30 years left on us. <laughs> at 32? I, I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right, Ron. Oh, man. But, you know, Ron... George? We got to go find some workers. And that's what our plan is for the day. So why don't you stay on topic? Why do you always stray? You're, you're talking about retirement, all kinds of things, deadbeats. <clears throat> why? I don't know. That's kind of depressing, George. It is. I'm kind of depressed myself. Let's I see. Pull over and ponder somewhere. <laughs> I think we should. Go we'll sit on our ass and ponder this. <laughs> we should think about it. <laughs> Alright, um, I think we're getting close to this town, so we better start focusing. Okay. And... That's that. That's that. Another find, find, find fine, 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 truck talk. Truck talk! <laughs> oh, go find some workers, yeah! <laughs> okay, well, we are in the little town of Felsmere. Isn't that how they pronounce it? Yes, Feldmere. Feldmere. Okay. Um, I'm gonna come back, there's a bus stop. What's this place? Don't say. Maybe chicks for sale, all female. Chicks are a big deal here apparently. There's a fire station, let that guy buy me. There's like one grocery store back there. They allow, what the fuck? Come on, go, man, go, come on, I'm pulled over for you. Jesus. Anyway, uh, healthcare on wheels. That's kind of interesting. Look at this, show this thing up here, Ron. Healthcare on wheels. What do you think that is? Well, obviously, um, healthcare on wheels. Yeah, it's some kind of uh, community care, outreach. mobiles. Yeah, something or another. It's a mobile something. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, well, we did. Well, I'll kind of show you when I went back, but we talked to the grocery store. She said, yeah, no problem. You can put it in here, hang it up, whatever. Here's another one. This is uh, Ditch Gallery and Gifts. So we're going to walk in there and see if she'll let us put something up. Basically, just the YouTube. Okay. 
Would I be able to display this somewhere? Sure. Would that be okay? Yeah, we're going to do the window. I'll put it in the window. Put it in the window. window. Okay, well, thank you very much. I really Unless appreciate you, that. you need it to be put up by yourself because of the video. Okay, that's fine. If you could do it for me, that would be fantastic. Okay, uh-huh. Thank you so much. Yes, you're welcome. All right, bye-bye. Have a great weekend. All right, thanks. You too. All right. And that's how you do it. Just go in and ask people, and they're very nice, and they allow you to do that. So, that's, we'll go down to this restaurant. So, Well, let's drive back on the other end and we'll see what we can afford. Or there's more down there. We'll drive down there. We can drive down there, yeah. Because if we go up there and go left, there's uh, a couple of gas stations. Okay. My, my, that's a beautiful truck. That is a beautiful truck, is it not? Well, the guy was a genius whoever thought of that. He was an absolute genius. Well, he did have a little bit of side help. 